Hey everyone, Erica Zeal here with you today and I am going to talk about the cueing of a belly to your spine, which is very, very common in the fitness industry. And I'm going to share with you that, yes, it was how a way that I was originally taught also how to engage your core. It's very, very common in the Pilates world. Um, and so a lot of us, we go to classes, um, whatever it might be, and you're going, you may hear an instructor that says, draw your belly to your spine constantly over and over and over again to engage your abs. And actually it's, kind of counterproductive. And yes, it was the way that I was originally taught, but here's what I wanna challenge everybody. And I'm gonna talk you th through this. So keep watching, cause I'm gonna take you through and cue you through a little technique of engaging your core so that you can actually experience it with me and understand what it is that I'm talking about without just saying, oh, well, you know, that's the way we've always been taught. That's the way it should be. I challenge all of you to let's learn something new. Let's open and expand our minds to always learning more. That's how I am. Um, that's why I'm always improving upon what I'm teaching and learning more because I might stumble across that there's a new cueing way or some new movement or technique that all of a sudden it makes everything that we're doing so much more effective, right? So who doesn't want that? Okay, so when it comes to cueing belly to spine, I'm gonna stand up here so you can all see, is um, I'm gonna talk you through this. I challenge, do it with me because when you do it yourself, you can feel exactly what I'm saying. And even if you're just sitting, um, you can do that too, but stand up if you can. So when we do belly to spine, which has been taught a lot, again, it was taught that way too, but I have <clears throat> long ago since changed my ways of cueing and teaching deep core strengthening, um, just because I found that this is not the most effective way. So when we think about drawing belly to spine, and I'm gonna exaggerate it a little bit, um, just so you can all see, but breathing the way we should breathe out to our sides and into our back, way back here, if we then go and exhale and draw our belly to our spine, Look what happens to my posture. It's horrible, it's not good, right? My head's forward, I'm rounded. Now, if you try to hold that and breathe, like all I can do is breathe like kind of in my back and kind of in my chest and I feel nothing, absolutely nothing in my lower abdominal area or in the pelvic floor, right? So if we try to even lightly hold that and try to lengthen upward, it's really hard because you constantly have this like gripping and pulling you down to the ground and we're so rounded as a society, right? We go to pick things up and it's like this, right? When we don't have to be, we want to lengthen and grow tall and then we move our body, right? It all moves together and that's a big, big piece that is missing and that's a big fundamentals of what I teach in all of my programs um, and new things to come and everything. There's lots of it. So I challenge you to walk through this with me. And so instead of always being, you know, if you hear someone say, draw your belly to your spine, what I challenge you to do is, okay, that's the way they're cueing, but you're going to learn and teach your body better that instead of just drawing belly to spine, we're actually going to start from the base of your pelvis, your pelvic floor. Whether you're a female or a male, it doesn't matter. It's the same concept for everybody. Whether you're pregnant, postpartum, um, again, it doesn't matter. The deep core strengthening, it's the same across the board. We all have a core and we all have lots of fascia and we all have a pelvic floor. It just looks different for male versus female, but the fundamentals of strengthening the core and feeling that pelvic floor is the same, okay? So I'm gonna show you from the side here. When we inhale, <clears throat> breathing out into our sides and into our back, and then we exhale and we think of from the base of our pelvic floor, lightly drawing up, zipping up from the lower belly and growing tall. And I'm feeling this light connection in my abdominal area, lengthening of my spine. I feel a light lift underneath the pelvic floor. And you know what? I can still breathe and I'm growing taller. And when we learn to connect the core that way, we are strengthening our fascia to stay lengthened, to continue to lengthen so that we have good, strong, connected fascial networking through our body, which is a big, big piece of our spine health, of our core strength, whether we're talking umbilical hernias, diastasis recti, pelvic floor dysfunction, neck pain, back pain, knee pain, all of it, right? A lot of it stems from our core and we get so stuck in thinking about what's happening with our abs that we forget 
90% of everything else that's really involved in our core, okay? So practice that, and, and, and I always challenge initially when I work with a new client, I'm like, okay, when I can tell initially that they're in that belly to spine and they wanna suck it in, and I challenge them and I'll teach them, I'll do exactly what I did with you today, and that is, do it, draw your belly to your spine, try to breathe, try to activate your pelvic floor, and you're like, uh, yeah, you can't, not very well anyway, that's for sure, and actually, done continuously, push drawing inward, you actually can be putting pressure on to the pelvic floor, making your pelvic floor weaker. Um, again, something that's not addressed in your 20s may not be a big deal, but um, you know, as we all get a little bit older, things can start to happen, and so why not learn this before there's ever any sort of dysfunction with the pelvic floor or back pain or all of those things that so many people think doesn't affect them? Because you're working out, you're staying strong, that's great, um, but there's such a fundamentals of all this deep, deep underlying fascial connection, deep core strength that our arms are only as strong as our core is because when we go to move, we should move from our core first and then our arms, then our legs, things like that, okay? so. Practice that and think about that, right? If we go initially, draw the belly in, we do this. So we wanna lengthen, nice deep breathing. Out to our sides, feel that expansion through your chest and then exhale and just lightly zip up. That's the other piece of this is that when we're engaging our core, we're doing you know, more traditional ab work, we tend to think of like, we wanna feel that burn in our abs. And there's nothing wrong with feeling your abs working, absolutely. I like to feel my core a little sore the next day just like anyone else, but there comes a point at which you know it's too much, it's too much stress on the pelvic floor, on the abdominals, on the back. You know, people that for years and years and years do lots and lots of crunches and the belly to spine. You're actually putting pressure into your spine. Okay, um, as as we age, you know, we get the compression of the spine, and you don't have to. You absolutely don't have to. You don't have to be kyphotic. You don't have to have neck pain. You don't have to have all of that. And so this is really the fundamentals to really start to prevent that. So if you have none of these things that I'm mentioning, great, that's awesome. All the better to start working on strengthening the correct way right now so that you don't have these things down the road. And if you do have any of the aches and pains or the dysfunctions that I'm mentioning, know that you're not alone and that there is a lot that you can do to heal them and feel better and feel stronger and improve your posture because a lot of what we do and you know, those of you that have followed me for all know that I love the word fashion, talking about it. And um, next week I'm gonna talk about hydration, hydration for your body, for your fascia, because again, we have to hydrate our body. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk a little bit about why you might be drinking all the water in the world and still feeling hydrated. That's a, that's a piece of how our body's feeling and moving and functioning. So know that um, you can continue to lengthen your spine um, and I, get taller. You know, if you feel like you've shrunk, you can get taller. And that big part of that is learning how to strengthen properly to carry our body throughout our day. That's just a big, big part of this. So for all my programs um, and for any questions, please post questions below. Um, check everything out at ericazeal.com and I will see you all here back next week.